Welcome back. Oh no. What? The stock market in New York crashed. No, not the stock market. I guess all our economies are going down the rabbit hole right now. Yeah, my economy is crippled. It's okay. They will get them back together, maybe in about a year or so. I suggest we probably shouldn't do any invasions or unions right now, because it's too risky. Okay. Oh no, not separatists in Bosnia. This is not a good time. We are sick of Serbian rule, and we would like to govern ourselves. We see this as an opportunity to declare independence. Uh, well, I guess it's just me and you, Montenegro. Yep. Egypt, have you finished the African Union? No. I still have a little bit more to go, but since the economy's crashed, I can't do anything. Oh, okay. One year later. Oof. Well, that was a rough year. Yeah, luckily our stock market is doing well now. Yeah. Egypt, have you completed your African project? Yes. Now to form the African Union. Nice. Okay, um... Good for you, I guess. We have officially reached the 1990s. Yeah. Great times. Great times call for invasion measures. Whoa, 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 Netherlands, why are you doing this? It seems that they've elected a new leader. He's very ambitious. I suggest you probably have to invade me too in order to get, I don't know, prevent me from being taken over. Okay, will do. Ah, they managed to take the land before I did. Now, Netherlands, I will invade you. No, my leader was killed. I think this is your choice now. Either surrender, or me and Belgium will partition you. I guess I surrender. Great. Let's do the armistice. Armistice signed by Belgium, Netherlands, and Germany. The Netherlands will lose some land to Belgium and Germany. And that's all. Treaty done. Well, dang. Netherlands, you made a big mistake. Yeah, big mistake I definitely made. Hmm. We want an independent Luxembourg. We want an independent Saarland. Glory to an independent Luxembourg. Glory to an independent Saarland. Oh, shoot. We have separatists here. Yeah, I think we should probably give them independence. Will do. Cool. We're independent now. Yeah. We will hold another referendum in southern Schleswig to see if they want to join Denmark or not. Sounds good. Let's do the referendum. Referendum in southern Schleswig. 
94% yes, 6% no. Well, that was a very overwhelming majority for you. Way different than last referendum. Yeah, well, I guess I get Southern Schleswig now. Hey, North Transcaucasia, would you like to form that uni again? Sure, I guess? Wait, I literally just declared independence. Why would I try that union thing again with you? I mean, you are right about that. Hmm, I guess we'll leave you be. Hey, are you struggling with Curtis troubles out here? Yes, we are. You're definitely struggling with them. Glory to an independent Kurdistan! Well, dang, that sucked. Let's alter these borders. Well, the Kurds gained independence. Yeah, I can see that. It looks like the Arab state is starting to collapse. Glory to an independent Lebanon. Glory to an independent Israel. Glory to an independent Jordan. Glory to an independent Syria. Glory to an independent Iran. Glory to an independent Kuwait. Man, every single state here is revolting. I guess I have to give you all independence. Man, I just realized governing an entire continent is extremely hard. I think to ease the tension brought in here, I'm going to split into two. You sure this is going to work? Yeah, I'll leave the western portion to do their own thing. Actually, I'll split myself into three pieces. The western portion, the eastern portion, which is me, and then the southern portion. Okay, uh, let's see this plan into action. Will do. All right. Well, that's a lot better. Yeah. Hey, can I get my old lands back? Fine, but you have to pay some money. Okay. Thank you so much. I have n You have no idea how much this means to me. Oh, you're actually very respectful. I feel so bad. No. Oh, it's okay. I'm just glad that I'm an independent entity. Hey, speaking of, Switzerland, can I get my old lands back? Eh, since you have a new government, nar tyrant, I guess I can give you your old lands back. Okay. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll give some of your old lands back. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go for these two right here. Sounds good. Pay... 10 million for them. It's a lot of money. Well, there is a big city in them. Yeah, you are right about that. Thank you. Well, we are closing in on the 1900s. Crazy to think how far we've gone. Yeah. And all this stuff that went down. Yeah, it's crazy to think that. Man. Only 20 more years left to go. What? Yeah, whatever.
Now we're finishing this episode right here. Yeah, because we want to have exactly 10 episodes. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty long episode. Yeah. I mean, that one World War Three Aftermath episode was one hour long, so this probably pales in comparison to that. Yeah, World War Three The Aftermath episodes were pretty long. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm positive. Let's give Macedonia independence. Fine, we can give Macedonia independence. Couldn't fail in the opportunity to get some land. Yeah, whatever. Hey, France, can I have Nice? Uh, no, why? Because, uh, economic interests or something like that? Why would I give you, like, my f third largest city? Second largest? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Whatever. Never mind. Hey, can I get Corsica? Fine, you can have Corsica. Great, no border gore. Hey, Croatia, would you like to unite? Because, well, I'm tiny. Sure. Might as well give Montenegro independence. And with that, Yugoslavia is now officially dissolved. Shut up. Hey, I'm not wrong. I mean, you're not wrong, but you need to shut up. Glory to an independent Kazakhstan! Shoot, not Kazakhstan again. Let's hope we stay independent this time. I'll leave you alone. Because pretty much every single country in Europe will declare war on me if this happens. Yeah! Hey, Russia, would you like my northern territories? What do you mean? Like, these territories right here? Sure, I'll give them for... Let's do five million. Okay. Nice. Hey, Slovakia? Yeah? I think we should split up. Why? Well, I think we both govern on our own anyway. I mean, you are right about that. I guess we can do it. Okay. Well, we're at the year 2005 now. Yep. Sure are. Belarus. I really wanted to have a union with you for a while. And since we're both independent now, and not threatened by Russia's thumb, would you like to form a union? Sure. Yeah, not much really happens for about 10 years. Me and Russia will have some border changes.
Hmm. Well, not much stuff happened after that. So, let's see all the countries that we have. You have the Arctic Union, Ireland, United Kingdom, Norway, Sweden, Finland... The Neo-Baltic Union, Königsberg, Poland, Germany, Denmark, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Saarland, France, Andorra, right there, Spain, Portugal, East African, no wait, West African Union, East African Union, Italy, Switzerland, Austria, Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia, Montenegro, Albania, North Macedonia, Greece, Bulgaria, Greater Romania, Hungary, Czechia, Slovakia, Kiev and Rus, Russia, Finland, Kazakhstan, North Transcaucasia, South Transcaucasia, Turkey, Kurdistan, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, North Jordan, South Syria, Lebanon, Israel, and Arabia. Now, how does this compare to the real world? Well, a lot, I should say. And to that I say, all of this is alternate. None of it's real. And you don't you all should know that when your country gets taken over or partitioned or gets in a union with another country that you probably don't like. This is just for entertainment purposes only. And you should know that. So I wanted to make another alternate history of Europe series. So, here it is. And, uh, stupid voice crack. To that I say, I am the creator. <laughs>